से साधु 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 सोडिया धामा प्रैक्टिशनर्स वेन इट कम टू बुद्धा टीचिंग इट्स मेन इट ट्राई टू टू गिव अ क्लियर अंडरस्टैंडिंग रिगार्डिंग यूर ओन लाइफ not about the universe not about the world not about the the seasons not about the weather or not about this outside machines or technology or nuclear or quantum physics like that it's really giving a clear understanding about who you are why because end of the day that is the most important thing end of the day when you close your eyes if you don't have any peace in your heart what is the point that even though you know all this scientific theories and many other things as a, you know worldly informations but if you know who you are and what is happening inside you even in the outside world so chaos is kind of like even if, if you are in the middle of the hell is still it giving you clarity or the peaceful mind calmness to yourself so developing that calmness is very important in the beginning just imagine ourselves as a husband wife children friends and family members brothers sisters sometimes the very first thing that what we lose our cool or our calmness when a situation come even though we are in 20 in 21st century in the end of this 2020 and we just imagine we just say we are the the people or have all the experience and we are in the top of the the knowledge and we are in the peak of this science and technology so like that but still when a little situation come even in day to day life and sometimes very simple things for a one minute not for you know one hour two hour or many many days no even for a one minute just uh, you you want to find your car key so it is you know it is in your pocket in your bag so then what happen you put the hand and start to look little bit it is there it's one minute you know you few second go then you become kind of you become nervous you will get get kind of like a different person we think this one minute Oh, even sing a little thing at home in day-to-day -day life, and sometimes you know the behavior of the other person. So knowingly yourself, but still, when the situation come, you get mad, disappointed because of that behavior. What the reason? If you know the other person's behavior. as example it like this when there is a person when it's always late or always if you call not going to answer if even at home from this room to that room if you say come not going to come and may say maybe say i'm coming that's it but the person not going to come so you used to live with that kind of nature for 10 20 years now you know that so then you say please come here then another person say please i am coming now what happening now again you waiting 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 after few second now even you know this person not going to come now 20 years you heard that person not going to come just saying i am coming but still knowingly that in the second time you say please come then 
the person not going to come. And the third time, you get mad. You get disappointed. You lose your cool. You lose your calmness. So don't blame to anybody. It is it, because the mistake is within you. Why? Because you know the nature of the person. But you don't use your own inner wisdom to you. See, that even in, con I just gave you this conventional example. It's every day happening, it's like that. So you get disappointed every day with many, many other things. The same thing, if you look very carefully, then you will see regarding your own self when you have disappointment, unhappiness, there is a pattern. There is a method. This is kind of like a, it's inbuilt system inside you. So you have to fix that. When you have to fix, you have to get a radical decision to fix yourself. Otherwise, you're not going to fix that. Just now. From now, I'm not going to do it. That's it. If you think, okay, next week, next month, okay, next year, this, very soon, within a few days. 2021. Oh, you're going to, no, you're not going to do that. Like everybody, you know, 31st night may be writing and determining, I'm not going to do this, I'm going to, not, not going to do this. So like that. But this is also same. You also same. No, you, but just remember, you start to do something from now in this very moment. If you are not develop this radical change, you're not going to do that. Why? Because this behavior, this pattern is so strong. It's coming through eons by eons through this timeline in the samsaric journey, in this human civilizations. You keep passing it and day by day you nourish that through many other ways. You didn't see it. So that's why it is a time for you. Whenever you see something regarding yourself, not about others, don't touch others. Don't try to advise others. Just regarding your own life, look when you see something right away, fix it. Keep it as an attitude yourself. That's going to help for you. We have the Tripitaka, we have the Dharma, we have this all the things, we have the big temples, we have the, the beautiful Buddha statue, we have that everything. But remember, out of this anything, as a person, you and me cannot change inside our own heart this everything useless. That is the bottom line. It doesn't matter how long we live or who we are or maybe inside our head we carry deeper and deeper and mental image. Forget about it. It doesn't work. But even we don't have this anything. Even just imagine you just become a homeless person. But still, if you have the clear understanding regarding yourself, and when, it's, when something happens within inside deeper in your heart and you fix it there, you keep your calmness, your cool there, that is the important thing. So through the tranquility meditation, we try to get into that point. So it is not easy why we have to practice this because in the beginning of this, in the beginning of life, we didn't, people didn't know, want to practice this. See, even today, how many things, like as ordinary people, how many things we practice. Then sometimes people say, oh, why, you know, I'm not doing anything wrong. I just have myself. I just become mindful with whatever I do. I don't need to practice meditation. You cannot do this. You cannot maintain your calmness or tranquility state like that in this kind of environment. Why? Because as human beings, little by little, because of the, these machines and technology and the lifestyle that we develop, we're losing our inner abilities. Why? Because we come to a point to worship the artificial intelligence. And while you're worshiping, hugging, holding, Grasping this artificial intelligence, you're losing your natural wisdom, natural intelligence. People don't care about it. 
it's it's the same like the medicine nowadays people this natural herbal herbal medicine people don't don't care about it but when it come to those uh, the scientific research and through the machines in a bottle or oh, everybody like it so that is where we are the same thing we think us so then just just thinking oh i going to be calm it not going to work why because from nat from natural process from the nature we are so little by little little by disconnecting that's why if you if you go to amazon and the book and look how many books there are to giving advice for the mothers to how to take care of babies even the kind of like a first baby this imagine you know that's a that's a very simple nature look at the, all this the the animal behavior in the world seen unseen this all the animals they have a very natural pure connection especially with the the mother and the, the babies because you no need any kind of wisdom to, from outside you no need any advice from outside that is the connection but today even we lose that also even parents doesn't know how to take care of a newly born child they don't know how to hold even so there are books now saying you have to do this way you have to do this way you have to do that way. so the thing is this it is okay to learn but the thing is when you develop listen this very carefully you know because it is nothing to do with the knowledge but the thing is that when you develop a method to always get something from outside you become very comfortable with getting information from outside in that very comfort you lose your natural wisdom remember that very carefully it is okay it is okay to get anything when you develop a method or the pattern to get the information from outside and become comfortable with the the whatever the situation or the environment or whatever the process that you have to maintain it is okay but the thing is in that very moment of that comfort in the middle of that comfort you losing your inner wisdom so the the buddha's teaching try to take you to that epicenter of the wisdom where it is being just yourself come to come to come to yourself and observe and that observation giving you a recognition who i am what is happening within yourself why because this everything come out of your mind so lot let let's re reverse the pattern a little bit and go back when you die the very first the well, the very last thought chuti chit the last thought only one thought you can hold so the good or bad it doesn't matter so if in case if you hold a good thought then your next thought going to become the pratisandhi the 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 very beginning first thought of the very fresh life new life you are that thought going to become good so there is no way when you die with the unhappy thought there is no way you going to come with the happy thought if you die with the unhappy thought you going to come with the unhappy thought if you die and you cannot have many thoughts you can have only one thought one single thought that's it so if you die with the the pleasant mind then you come with the pleasant mind in the in the beginning there is no way to change it so that is the process so then just a thought see one thought 
going to to find the place to start your life in that very start point according to the behavior of that thought the your last thought and you finding the place not only that it giving you i ear nose tongue body and the mind in the mother's womb within the very first three months already it's developed see the power of one thought so in case if that thought had the, uh, some kind of you know unpleasant background or something you're going to come with that so somehow you come to this and then you start so then what happening you develop a body so the the thought start to develop the body and now once you come to this world you start to maintain your life with eye ear nose tongue body and mind and through the perception and developing all the information inside you so then this body representing that one thought it develop multiply inside you so the mind has power to hold names and forms mind has power to hold names and forms so once the names and forms disappear the there is no way the mind can hold so the names mainly stronger and the forms or forms related to four element heat motion liquidity and hardness and there are other four things varna gandha raso the varna means the colors gandha smell rasa taste oja means the energy so then when it come to that mainly eight component so those are the building blocks of all this material world but that material world even this body came out of this that all the eight elements heat motion liquidity and hardness and the taste taste smell color and energy so that all develop so this the body also four elements but that one thought of the mind so that's mean a name so you are happy unhappy like dislike everything you hold by the the name so that one name has had power to to accumulate this all the the eight elements and now the mind develop this all the elements and then depending on the all, all this mainly four element heat motion liquidity and hardness the outside world everything heat motion liquidity and hardness and the inside this body means heat motion liquidity and hardness so when it come to the mind mind always depending from it and mind try to get the the energy through this four elements so again and again again and again it keep repeating so the thoughts only have the the name and the forms developed by the the four elements so now we dealing with the world mean we dealing with the four elements but behind this all mind hold by names just as ideas so the form and by the names what the mind does it develop it called formation developing always formatting 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 take the form convert to name develop it take the the form convert to name and develop it that is what the mind does but the thing is without the form it cannot develop so what is the form means for elements so when it come to your body and this everything the four elements your life mean mostly you responding means we go with this four elements but the thing is we don't see the mind behind this all 
we just see the world as this material things. But through the vipassana, what we are trying to get into the bottom line, that's mean the mind. Because if you look very carefully, we think, oh, the greed, hatred, and the delusion, oh, we, he like this, she like this, like that way. We name people all the things and we try to introduce the greed or the recognize the greed through the things, through the people. But we don't see the mind behind it. So as example, somebody say, oh, I like this, I like this. It, it, it's mater something material. And then the, another person, maybe one of my friend, okay, tell, oh, keep it protect, you know, keep it safe because he like it. Or oh, give it to him because he like it. So me or another person, we both not going to see the mind behind this. We, we struggling with this material thing. But material world helpless. Even this body helpless. Your body helpless. That's why it keep going, keep going. That's why this all the pain, suffering, everything happening. Unhappy, everything you have to go through, this body has to go through. Why? Because you think life is physical. But when you go deeper and observe, the life is depend on mind. All the karma is depend on mind. So the, the thoughts create actions. Without the thoughts, you cannot make action. So the thought means mind. Thought create action and action create reaction. Action, reaction, result, the method of the karma. See, even it be related to the mind. The all the material world, we one thought and come to mother's womb as vinyana and then settle down there, start to accumulate everything around it and build up this body and build up these four elements and then that also come out of the the mind. That is what you have to recognize. Not this outside these things. Behind this everything, how your mind behave. Then you have to look yourself and somebody put a name on it and then the, the hairstyle, the, the cloth and the lifestyle, the patterns, habits, we get it. Now we think we are like that. But we even ourselves don't see our own mind. Why? Because we get lost in our shape, in our hairstyle, in our makeups, in our feelings, in our habitual patterns. We lost. So when we introduce ourselves, we never introduce by our mind. Why? Because we don't see it. If you don't see it, how are you going to introduce from that? So then remember, recognizing life means getting to that bottom and seeing your own mind. That is where the vipassana practice is going to help. And that is what the Buddha tried to, to help you. So once you come to the, the deeper level of understanding of the mind, you will see some very beautiful secret. It is the key. That is called Chandaraga. Chanda the means the, the, the desire. Raga is the glue. It's kind of like holding, grasping nature. So the desire to grasp. So mostly when people hear, the, when they hear this Chanda Raga or the desire, they think this holding outside things, material things. Or holding the the money, holding the car, holding the house, holding the husband, wife, children. So holding the love, sensual places. We think, we try to materialize this. Chandaraga means you hold it to your own mind. 
you love your own mind. You greedy for your own mind. You grasping your own mind. You cannot hold this world. You cannot hold anybody in this world. You cannot get into this any four elements. It's going to go away. Sabbam pahaya gamana. Everything you have to let go. Not in no any single. Everything you have to let go. Look at your life. You will say. Whatever you claim as you, you have to let go everything. But you hold it to your mind. So the chandaraga means, the desire means, the greediness means you greedy to your own mind. Try to see that. Don't try to struggle with the world. Don't try to struggle with the material. Don't try to fight with the people. Get into, look into your own mind and see. It brings you the peace. It brings you the calmness. It brings you the tranquility state. It brings you the victory to yourself as a person. See your own mind. It is behind this body. It is behind your feelings. See the mind. Little by little have idea. When you go to sleep, when you eating, when there is a desire come to do something, you have to do it. It is okay because we, we have to go with that current for a while. But still see, while you're doing that, start to look your own mind. You're going to see it. So it is something. It is there. And once you're able to see that mind, you see how it moment by moment, moment by moment changing, but it keeps, it's like a volcano, keep the heat, but it's changing, keep the heat, it's changing. It's same like the volcano. It is not you, it is the, it is the very nature of this world. We are just a part of it. We are just a bubble from that volcano. So then remember yourself, get out of that fire. Don't keep burning or don't provide the, the necessary energy to burn it again and again and again and again. You can see it, you can find it and slowly, little by little, observe yourself and simply remember, keep your cool. Keep your calmness. Keep your tranquility state for you. And then you're going to see your mind. When the day comes for you to see your mind, your transformation happen. Your liberation is going to happen. But, dear Dhamma friends, it doesn't matter how old we are, how far we go, what we do in life, who we are, where are we coming from. If we cannot see our own mind, we are not going to get anything out of this human life. So with that, I bless upon everyone with this good practice. May all of you be well, happy and peaceful. May no harm come to you. May no difficulties come to you. May no problems come to you. May you also have the patience, courage, understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life. During this time period, may everyone stay healthy and safe. And finally, may all of you attain supreme bliss of Nibbana. Sabbitiyo vajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu mate bhavatantarayu sukhidi gayuko bhava Ittavata chanmi sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva anumodam tu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe bhuta anumodam tu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe satta anumodam tu sabba sampati siddhya idami punya kamanga svakaya vangotu Sabba Dukkha Pamun Chatu Bless you.